Hi, this is Randy Kovitz of the Kansas City Star with Sam Mellinger to talk about this week's Chiefs bounce back game where they play the San Diego Chargers at Arrowhead coming off of uh, the, the loss the other night to the Denver Broncos. And Sam, I guess the big issue on the Chiefs side is what happened to the pass rush? Yeah, I mean, if Peyton Manning's going to get the ball out in 2.18 seconds or whatever it was, you're not going to be able to get really any anything of a pass rush so to me that's on the secondary right to to give Justin Houston and Tom Bahali and Dontari Poe uh some more time and the secondary particularly Marcus Cooper uh just got destroyed uh the other night and some of that's to be expected the the Broncos have the best quarterback in the game uh maybe the best group of receivers in the game so you're going to have some problems but they've got to do better than that they've got to make Peyton Manning take more than two steps in two seconds to to get the ball out I was really surprised when I saw the stats looking at San Diego and figuring, well, they got Phillip Rivers coming in here and, you know, he makes mistakes here. And he's only been sacked 19 times this year, like fourth uh, fewest in the league. So Phillip, he gets rid of the ball quickly, too. On the flip side, the Chiefs still are having trouble getting the ball into the end zone. Yeah, the, the one thing that I liked about the Denver game, they, they pushed the ball down the field a lot more than they had in, in really any of the previous nine games. And some of that is because they were pushed to. They didn't have the lead uh, like they have in, in most of those other games. And I, and I think some of it, too, is what the Broncos were doing uh, against the Chiefs. They were challenging them to go down the field. And I think that's something that you're going to see a lot more of going forward because, you know, the, the book on Alex Smith is, is pretty clear. He's a good athlete, makes good decisions, but isn't very good going down the field. And the Chiefs don't have the wide receivers to really make that a great threat. So I think you're going to see even more of that, and it's up to the Chiefs to make them pay. Well, this is the classic trap game. Uh, the Chiefs come home. Whether they won or lost, you figure there might have been a letdown after the build up to Denver, and Denver comes to Kansas City next week. So, so how do the Chiefs focus on the Chargers this week? I don't expect that to be an issue. I, I think that, and I'm going to write more about this in, in Sunday's paper about the idea of a trap game that, you know, kind of a, a dubious uh, I, idea at best. But um, even if you accept that there is a trap game uh, concept, I, I think I trust this team to, to concentrate week in and week out. I think they've, they've proven that over the first nine games. I think that Andy Reid and his assistants, too, we always just talk about Andy Reid, but his assistants, too, need, need some credit of, of keeping guys on task, and, and they focus week in and week out. And I think the, the other thing about I think there's a danger in looking ahead with a cocky team. And these guys were 2-14 and 14 and terrible last year. Uh, I don't think they're in the position to really look ahead of anybody. Well, here's the interesting thing with San Diego. They're 4-6. and six. Uh, They've lost some close games. This is their season because they've got four of their last five at home. So if they could steal this one, get to 5-6, and six, they're still looking at a wild card, maybe at 9 or 10-6. and six. They lose this one, they're 4-7, and seven and it's over. So I think the Chiefs are going to get a fired-up San Diego team. They're such an, a hard team to figure, too. They have talent. We talk about this for the last 100 years, it seems like, with the Chargers. They've got a lot of talent. Phillip Rivers can burn you. But they're so inconsistent. They lost three in a row, but, you know, they also beat the Colts. You know, I just I, they're, they're a really hard team to figure. But you're right. The way the schedule's laid up, that, that you know, they've lost three in a row, and, and they, this is a must win in the division. Uh, you know, they're, they're going to get the Chargers' best effort. I don't think there's any question about that. Well, we'll see how it shakes out on Sunday. And the other thing is Denver plays at New England on Sunday night. So the Chiefs could get past the San Diego game. They're back where they were the other day, a game ahead of the Broncos with the Broncos coming here December 1.